All right, quite the crazy uh, trade that just happened. A trade, yes, the uh, the Chargers trade away uh, Keaton Allen to the Bears. And like, listen, uh, Keaton Allen owed a lot of money. Uh, they owe him a lot of money. So I understand the logic behind, you know, in theory, going you know, moving on this, uh, if you're kind of in a rebuild, which the Chargers kind of are, weirdly, despite a good quarterback, you know, getting rid of your older player and kind of you know, getting a draft pick trying to rebuild. At the same time, though, I do kind of have to wonder, at this point, why are we keeping Khalil Mack, you know, if we're, if we're doing that? Why not move off of him as well if that's what we're going to do, right? If we're getting rid of Mike Williams and Keenan Allen, because right now, this receiving core looks rough for the Chargers. But what doesn't look rough is the Bears receiving core, which actually could be, like, sneaky really good. Like, I think the Bears are, who knows how Caleb Williams is going to be? I'm assuming they're drafting him. Uh, who knows how good he's going to be? But if he is good, like, this could be a sneaky good team next year, right? Like, this is kind of starting to look pretty interesting with DJ Moore uh, and now Keenan Allen uh, as kind of your main options. And Cole Komet can be a, a good third option, even Gerald, uh, Gerald Everett uh, as another guy. So, and, you know, maybe another receiver can step up. Maybe you can add another receiver on top of it. It feels like to me what... Chicago's trying to do is not make the same mistake they made with Fields, right? They made that mistake with Fields where they, you know, let's just be honest, it, uh, it probably did not uh, did not work out the way that they wanted and did not give him really a fair shot. They did not give him a great situation. They're trying to not do that with Caleb Williams. So, yeah, I think it's a huge win for the Bears. Like, even if it's they're paying a decent amount of money, like, put – Williams in a good situation, that makes sense. That's a great way to evaluate a young quarterback. And uh, for, for the Chargers, I, I don't know. I, I understand it, but man, this is what a weird spot the Chargers seemingly are in. They're really kind of tearing it down. Uh, and, you know, I hope this isn't a sign to come saying like they're not valuing the receiver position, which, you know, Jim Harbaugh is definitely a run first kind of guy. He mentioned that, but like, you know, it's, it's 2024 in the NFL, got to throw the ball. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, those are my thoughts. What are yours? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.